Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a full case break of 2018-19 Panini Court Kings basketball. 16 box pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks to all of these lovely people for getting in. There you go. Here we are. Kevin O, Last Spot Mojo, Grizz. Thanks to him and thanks to everybody for getting into it. Appreciate it. Now, pick your team four. So the random team breaks that you see right here and that are on the site right now, and then pick your team four. Those are our last breaks of Court Kings basketball. So get into it while supplies last. All right, so there's all 16 boxes right here. We'll use this blank card to hide the uh, autos a little bit. I'm going to stack those boxes up there. So all the boxes right on top there. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Take a quick look at the backs of these two and make sure we get all the numbered cards and everything. Did you guys see the video from earlier today? I I was breezing through Pick Your Team 1. I missed a one-of-one one Devin Booker for Corey K and the Suns. I made sure that I did a train whistle video for him. Our shipping team caught it. Ooh, Jason Tatum. Six out of ten. High court signatures. And that is for Jordan Brushhaber and the Boston Celtics. There you go, man. Nice start for you. Six out of ten, Jason Tatum. Little oppo Joe Mojo. I'm a Lakers guy, but it's still a nice hit. I can appreciate that. All right, and next up, Sovereign Autograph, Frank Kaminsky, Frank the Tank. All right, see you guys. All right. There's Frank Kaminsky, 98 out of 99 for the Charlotte Hornets. Brandon C. There you go, Brandon. Next box. There's Landry Shamit to 199. And Tobias Harris, 99. Remember, all cards ship in this, too. Your two autos. Luka Doncic. Just like that. Air apparent on card autograph Lulu going to Dave Barrows and the Dallas Mavericks. Scared money don't make money, folks. Mavs were sitting there. They were one of the last teams on the board. 187 out of 199. It's a beaut. And then we've got Maxi Kleber. More Mavs for Dave Barrows. Barrows box. All right, so Tatum in the first box, Lulu in the second box. Is it just downhill from here? <laughs> Could be some vet autos in here, some nice vet autos.
There's De'Aaron Fox to 199. And Carl Anthony Towns to 99. Then we got Dante DiVincenzo. Nice one for the Milwaukee Bucks. Jesse Logsdon. Out of 99. Second auto is Paul Silas, another Celtic. High court signatures. Nice old school auto for Jordan and the Celtics. One out of twenty-five on that one. Yeah, Rex says he hears that. Here, here's that uh, that Luca kid might be might be good someday. Here's a crazy. Uh, here's a crazy uh, a question. Can Luka Doncic become a Hall of Famer? Like, just seeing him this season, for you basketball fans, just seeing him this season, the way he's played, the numbers he's put up, I mean, is he on a Hall of Fame trajectory already? Court Kings to 199. Kobe. And there's Jerome Robinson, 99. Michael Hingle thinks, uh, yeah, if he stays healthy. Ryan says no. There's Steven Chenzo again for the Bucks. Mike Magor saying, realize basketball and soccer has the best resale value, long seasons, few injuries. Well, more than that, Mike, for basketball, think about it, and soccer, international, um, broader audience. Excuse me. You must be allergic to um, to Luka Doncic and Marcus Camby for the Nuggets. So that's Marcus Camby for the Nuggets. Thank you, Michael. And my allergies have been driving me crazy this week. Thirty-nine out of ninety-nine on that one. All right, next box. Rex says, "Watch, you'll be the only one they compare to LeBron in the future. The way they compare." LeBron and Jordan. Well, they do already compare him to to LeBron. Rex, they're like, oh, youngest player since LeBron to get X amount of triple doubles. Youngest player since LeBron to get X amount of points at this stage of the season. Blah, 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 blah. It's already happening. Out of 199, Chris Middleton. And out of 99, DeAnthony Melton. Robert Williams III. Pulled his one of one the other night. This goes to Jordan and the Celtics. Lakers already down 31. Well, Lakers are fielding like a G League team, Michael. That's why. 53 out of 99 on that one. And then we've got Alatel's high court signatures. Old Warrior for Virgilio.
15 out of 99. All right, next box. But yeah, we were. I was saying, uh, soccer, soccer and basketball resale value for basketball especially supply and demand. There's only two rounds of the draft, right? Only what 15 players on a roster. A lot of the rookies will will start playing pretty much from year one. You know, so and the international markets for both soccer and basketball, Michael M, is a big reason why. You know, they they retain value pretty well, more so than some of the other sports. Chris Paul to 199. And out of 25, Rudy Gobert. Rex is asking why they do that so much in basketball. All that comparison stuff doesn't happen as much in baseball or football. Because basketball, there's more of an opportunity for individuals to, for an individual player to make a bigger impact on a single game. Right? There's Chris Paul to 199. That's a, that's a that's a big reason a big reason why there's only five players on the court, right? So the influence that one player can make, as opposed to the 11 players that are with Tom Brady, you know, or the 10 other players with Tom Brady on the offensive side, then you still have the other side of the team that has the defense has to make an impact too. A lot of more factors involved in football, so the comparisons aren't as, you know, there's a lot more chip talk, championship talk, right? They call them chips. They're like. How many chips does he have? You know, how many championships does he have? So it's a lot of it's based off of, off of that. Football, it's harder to 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 compare. You know, Joe Montana versus Aaron Rodgers versus Tom Brady. There's Javon Carter to 199. Air apparent autograph for the Grizz. Last spot mojo, Kevin O. At least in my opinion, I think that's why that kind of comparison happens more often in basketball. Spencer Haywood, Lakers. But yeah, I think, I think yeah, Michael Hinkle is agreeing with me too. The the more, the ability of an individual to to change a, a game, to impact, you know, James Harden can take over a game, right? Jordan can take over a game. Larry Bird can take over. Magic Johnson, all those guys. There's Spencer Haywood for the Lakers. Even Spencer Haywood could take over a game, right? Back in the day, Mark Lassen with my Lakers. So that's why you get a little more individual comparison. Oh, could LeBron take over a game? as well as Jordan could. You know, well, Jordan dragged his Bulls, and he didn't really have to drag them, he had a good team, but Jordan had to drag drag his Bulls to six championships, blah, blah, blah. You know, look at Kobe playing hero ball and, you know, winning chips. Why, why can't LeBron go to, go to all these chips? You know what I mean? So everyone expects LeBron to do the same thing, even though he's kind of a different player, but... They're like, well, LeBron's the greatest player since whatever, you know, so why isn't he taking over games? He's been to eight zillion finals and he can't, you know, he's only won a couple or whatever. So that conversation happens. Fair or not, that kind of conversation happens a lot. Level three Marvin Bagley, there's Landry Shamit. There's Zaire Smith for the Sixers out of 199. I think I think everyone has that. Mike McGore saying any guy, you guys have any uh, sell a card and have sellers regret all the time. I think everyone has that. I kept a card too long. Didn't keep a card long enough. Thaddeus Young for the Pacers. Oh yeah, that one of one Jeter EJC. You will go for a lot, yes. Jeter rarely signs. Only only in recent years has he started appearing in Topps products more consistently. Pacers. Uh, Sixers, Zaire Smith, by the way, goes to Josh Pruce. Thaddeus Young, Pacers to 149. That's going to go to uh, Lou, Lou Reeves, who has the Pacers. Next box. Yeah, that Jeter that we pulled from Triple Threads is going to go for a lot.
Kevin Huter to 199. Now he's out. Got him. Blake Griffin to 99. What a throw by Mike Trout. That's why he's the MVP right there. Why would you test that arm? What a throw. Perfect. Impressionist Inc. Ernie DiGregorio. Buffalo! Wait, what are the Buffalo Bills? Buffalo Bills. What are the Buffalo Braves turn into? 62 out of 99? Why did I type in Sabres? Buffalo Braves. Clippers, I think? Did we look we looked it up last night? I think they turned into the Clippers. They turned into the Clippers. So that'll go to the clip show. That'll be for Jim Gray. Um I don't know, EJC. I don't check the email here. That's not what I do. They made me do this. You say, you just go in front of the camera and just make sure you entertain the masses. You leave everything else to us. So I don't know. I'm sure they did. John Sally for the Pistons. Remember John Sally out of 149? That goes to Chad B and the Pistons. All right. Halfway through this break, folks. So the Buffalo Braves were in Buffalo, New York, obviously. And they were in the they were in the NBA, the actual NBA, actually. Well, I guess they're still in the NBA. Until 70 78. Then 78 Braves owner John Y. Brown Jr. swapped franchises with then Celtics owner Irv Levin, who then moved the team to San Diego, where it was renamed the San Diego Clippers. Then they moved to L.A., so no, they're not the L.A. Clippers, obviously. There's emerging artist Luka Doncic. That, that probably goes for a zillion dollars. And Carl Anthony Towns. For the Timberwolves, to 99. Ooh, just missed that catch. Keep that with that, Luca, right here. First autograph from the box is Omari Spellman. That's an autograph for Mark Glassman, Boombox. Out of 199. Next one is Isaiah Ryder. High court signatures. The Timberwolves. You gotta stay in the sticker, Isaiah. That goes to Jesse Logson with the T Wolves. Out of 99. 93. Out of 99. I couldn't see it on the glare for a second. Another Luka Doncic. This one's actually numbered. Out of 25. That's pretty nice. That'll go for a zillion dollars. I don't know if it will go for a zillion dollars. It'll go for a lot, though. You'll be surprised. What, 100 bucks? 200 bucks, maybe? Michael Porter Jr., level three, is also pretty strong.
two years ago, the measure of how baseball came out of the pen compared to now. Pretty amazing where he's improved in that part of his game. Set out to do that two off seasons ago. And Chris Mullen, brush strokes. Autograph for the Warriors. Virgilio with Golden State. 14 out of 25. Yeah, you might get Tesla money out of all this. All these Luka Doncic just popping out, says Eric Bailey. It's true. And Impressionist Inc. We've got Mahmoud Abdul Raouf. Oof. F, not L. That goes to Mike Tobin and the Nugs. 58 out of 99. Jalen Brunson to 199. And John Collins out of 99. Got Jacob Evans, another Warrior autograph. Love these fresh paint autographs. Out of 199. And then Charlie Ward. High court to old Heisman Trophy winning high, um, Charlie Ward. Florida State. Twenty four out of ninety-nine. Final five boxes, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. So, did, wait, did he played football and basketball? Don't those seasons overlap? Does anyone remember back in the day like why he ended up going with basketball? Alonzo Trier at a 199. Maybe maybe he realized he wasn't going to get drafted very high. I don't know. And there's Kevin Durant to 99. Redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? Sovereign autograph, Rudy Gobert. Jazz. Daisuke with the Jazz. Oh, he wasn't a high draft pick and got hurt his senior year. Oh, that's why. Oh, dinner tonight, Ryan? It's, I had a Komodo dragon. It's delicious. There's Keita Bates Diop, fresh. Paint autograph. That is for the Timberwolves. That goes to Jesse. All right, the final four.
Another Marvin Bagley the third, level three. And we got a Josh Kogay for the Timberwolves to ninety nine. Giannis to 199, Portraits. And your two autographs, we've got Kevin Huter. The the Ginger Ninja is what I learned today. That's what they call him. It's pretty good. Mark Glassman, Boombox with the Hawks to 99. And we got brush strokes autograph Quentin Richardson for the clip show. Jim Gray with the Clippers. You guys remember the movie The uh, the Freshman with Marlon Brando and Matthew Broderick? Where they were going to serve people a Komodo dragon? Mark Saul to 199. And we've got Chandler Hutchinson, 25 emerging artists. We got SGA, Shea Gilgis Alexander. Fresh paint auto for Jim Gray and the Clippers. I think that's who he chases when he gets the Clippers. I guess that's what everyone chases when they get the Clippers. Nice. Pretty solid campaign. We'll see him in the playoffs. And then we've got Sovereign autograph. We've got Marquise Johnson. Old Milwaukee Buck. That'll be for Jesse. 110 out of 149. All right, final two boxes coming up. Good luck, everybody. And then I think someone said that the random team break, the Court King sold out, so that'll be happening after this. He would appreciate that. Well, I don't know if he'd appreciate that, Michael. Michael would buy Nightbot a beer if I was on the West Coast. The trouble is, Nightbot can't drink. He doesn't have the... Uh, he doesn't have the capability to do so. Oh, Rod Carew is on the uh, Angels broadcast. There's Larry Bird to 199. And there's Alonzo Mourning for the Heat to 99. Night, that's right, Eric Bailey. Nightbot is the hardest working employee here at Jaspies. There, wow. Jason Tatum early on and towards the end, Kyrie Irving. On-card autograph, Legacies auto for Jordan and the Celtics. Little oppo Joe mojo as a Lakers fan. I don't know. Kyrie could be end up being a Laker, though. Six out of 25. And there's Courtney Lee for the Knicks. That'll be for Jeremy Tillman, JT with the Knicks. Oh, Michael Hinkle says you're friends with Bender from Futurama, so so you're suggesting that you can find a way for Nightbot to drink. Fair enough. All right, last box. Good luck. This is Pick Your Team 3. 
Pick your team four is in the store right now. I think only 20 some odd teams left. We have time to do it tonight if you want to. And that is our last case of Court Kings for the time being. So if you missed out on the, on the first few times, don't miss out this last time. Where are the autos? I think there they are. Karis Levert to 199. Mike Trout just hit a dinger. First home run of the season. Marvin Bagley, and then there's Damian Lillard to 99. And the last two autographs Zaire Smith for the Sixers to 199. Eric Heron Auto. Josh Proust with the Sixers. And the last autograph, good luck, and pick your team three, 18, 19. Panini Court Kings basketball just dropped yesterday is going to be Sovereign autograph. That's Byron Russell. 37 out of 99 for the Utah Jazz. That goes to Daisuke Fujiwara. And there you have it. And that's the way it was on April 4th, 2019. Court Kings basketball. In the books, Luca, Luca, Lulu. Nice. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.